Hi and welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac. Now we know Mark Marquez broke the internet uh, twice in the past, say 10 days or so, uh, with his first appearance on the motocross track and then his second appearance in Portimao on the RSV213S. Now he, again, he is training again, this time on a 600, which I find very good in the way of, you know, now it's more looking at possibly, I believe, looking at more physical fitness rather than how he was doing at high speed. He didn't say after, you know, his test in Portimao, you know, that, you know, the vision is fine at the high speed. However, he was finding it very physically tough uh, on the body. So I do believe this is what, why he's out on a 600 and not um, a thousand or or the RSV again. I think what he's doing now is he's working on his physicality to make sure that he is ready or somewhat ready uh, for the tests in Malaysia. Now it is literally only two weeks away from that test uh, or so, um, you know, and obviously with COVID restrictions and all of that. So I think this will be one or one or two maybe tests before he goes, but. You know, I think it's definitely interesting to see that he's saying that he's suffering physically from um, from being on the on the RSV213. Now, it does kind of bring some a question into mind, you know, just also there we saw Remy Gardner during the week had a motocross accident uh, and damaged his wrist, so he needed to get surgery on. And it was one of the things that I was thinking about, you know, Marquez's uh, injury uh, came up again after knocking his head on a, a motocross accident so you know the thought that came to me is like i know motocross is great fun it's great crack i've done it myself but you know is it the right thing to actually do motocross when you're in season prep you know the crashes in motor gp or or even you know when they're doing flat tracking you know you slide out you slide on your ass and it's so you, know, you it's rare that you would get very hurt whereas in motocross there's a lot of accidents and when you come off the bike it's a sudden stop rather than a slide on your arse so you know one of the things i was always thinking about and just thinking about it during the week was like like should you actually not do motocross training before the season starts or during the season you know at the end of the season maybe so that's different but what i would think is is you know should you stick to flat track racing or something where you can slide rather than do a sudden stop not being a a, 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 a ninny about it or anything like that but it's just you know is it going to really affect your season prep now if you're injured like remy gardner two weeks out drone had to get wrist surgery you know it's it's um definitely going to be a tough timeline for him and it's something you don't really want your first Moto G GP experience starting injured. So definitely love to know your thoughts on it. Uh, it's good to see Marquez back. You know, hopefully, you know, we're going to be in for a thriller of the season. I am going to keep covering the season. Hopefully I'm going to go live um, once I get up the subscribers amount that people will actually be able to interact and we can maybe watch the races together. But let's see where it goes. Uh, back with another one tomorrow. Until then. I hope you liked today's video and if you want to see my face there is two conditions either I get to 5,000 subscribers or else I get to host on Keith Ewan's Crash.net podcast so let's make it happen if you want to see my face thank you for watching until the next video back out